All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. It's been a very long time since I recorded this game, and a long time since I've even recorded anything. I've been kind of off for a while, uh, but I decided to pick it up again. The hardest part is getting started. Once you get started, man, get back in that that uh, routine, and it's easy. Happy Trails Expedition. Your pit boys picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Caravan Company. They're looking for one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. Level camp has been raised by five. Alright, so where am I, actually? See, I, I, this is the latest save I have on here. Uh, so it appears that I have com this is after completing uh, Lonesome Road. So I have not lost progress by accidentally deleting anything. So that's good. Alright, I was like going around destroying the fucking warheads. So how do I get back? <laughs> how do I get back? Because I want to do Honest Hearts. I, bought, I actually bought that a long time ago. A lot of things I did a long time ago, apparently. Uh, But never actually got around. How do I leave this place? Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Ah, god damn it. I'm not used to the controls. Move that. So now it should just tell me how oh okay so I guess go here but yeah I bought it a long time ago and never got around to actually playing it because I wanted to do a playthrough of it but never did uh, so I got a new computer that's the big thing that's happened since the last time I recorded new computer so that should mean no more uh, crashing before, during, or after recording. But you never know. Is this gun any good? I don't, I don't remember any of this. Uh, the problem, though, because my life would not be complete without every single technical difficulty on the planet... Uh, the USB headset that I've been using to poison removed. Yeah, the USB headset I've been using, the Logitech one, it's, I've, I've liked it. It's worked pretty well for a while now. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, it doesn't appear to work on USB 3.0 ports. At least not on Windows whatever it is, 8. And so yeah, it doesn't work on a new computer. So what I'm doing, so I still have, I still hung on to my old computer because it's all, the screen's all busted up and ugh, like not exactly in a sellable condition. Uh, so yeah, I'm just recording the commentary through my old computer, which still has an audio issue where the audio just fucks up sometimes. So it's entirely possible that I could still lose everything. Which is why I'm going to be very careful with my saves. So that if I do lose everything, I can just re-record it. Okay. What do I want to use? I don't know. I... I Teleportation. Oh, that's cool. I, mean, I don't know what I should use. I, I remember liking the cowboy repeater. Dinner bell. There's a problem with. Uh, is it, I'm using. 
69, 66. I'm just gonna, I'll just use this and see if it works. Oh, right, this is like good against robots or something, which I'm probably not gonna run into a whole lot of. So, you know, I'm just gonna. Um, but yeah, that's the problem with. Uh, not playing a game like this in a long time is that you have no fucking clue what any of your guns do. Right, I'm just gonna use the cowboy repeater. I remember liking that quite a bit. We'll see what happens. Oh, these loading screens that I've missed for so long. Oh, hello, folks. What's up? Hey, what's... There's nothing in there? It's all these people to Howdy talk to. Friends. Let's talk to them. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Wait a minute, I recognize you. It's yeah. totally what's his name, yeah, isn't it? McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? The Hulu McLafferty's slash Walking Dead guy, Walking Dead game guy. Uh, tell me more General about the job. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is twenty-five caps per day, half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus. Sounds reasonable. Plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, Can you tell me what the bonus thing. is? Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Graham? Or should we just say Graham? <laughs> so immediately, mention Joshua Graham to somebody. It makes the New Canaanites Him, powerful but still. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for you. Oh, yeah, it's like the, the, the Kaisars talked about him. Oh, right! Like that Caesar's Legion. Yeah, like this is supposed to be like tying into the Caesar's Legion stuff. If I remember right. From what the description was that I heard a long time ago. Uh, I don't really want to know, but go ahead and tell me. Up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. God, is it Dave Fenoy? I think it's, I think it's something, something like that. Ooh. Give me money. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't reestablish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. I'm assuming that means I'll get more arch sky XP for that. Okay, I assume that barter would mean I would get more money out of this, but apparently not. Uh, why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80 or up through Ogden. Yeah, just take a car. The highway is too risky. NCR's Rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the Raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Uh, I don't really want to know, but you can. You never know. You might, you might find the useful information. I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Uh, so, can you tell I me about this religion? The they paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen, too. And what happened nope. to their mission? Against this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. All right, Dave Fenoy, I'm got some other questions. Uh, 
Have you not talked about Zion yet? Tell me about Zion. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from I think it's Dave Fenoy. It's definitely Fenoy. Pretty sure. All the old ways in I've got my phone right fucking in front of me. I should just look it up. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Dave Fenoy. There we go. I was totally right. And I ignored everything that he just said. Sorry, Dave Fenoy. I wish I had a voice as deep as yours. Instead, I've got a particularly high voice that I kind of hate. So is Utah like everywhere else? I mean, I would just assume that it's bombed out and shit. You've got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones... Ah, I don't think you're not... I just think you're not trying hard enough. Degenerate <laughs> tribes? They're gonna eat me? Lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little... Oh, I forgot how long these conversations can go sometimes. We're recording for 11 minutes and ain't nothing happened. If this is going to be like dead money, then I'll talk to this guy for an hour and then I'll play for however many hours and then I'll talk for another few hours. <laughs> Again, I'm just ignoring everything that he's saying. Tell me about the dangerous warlords. Got no desire for my head to decorate some gas station quartz walls, thanks. They're about what you'd I think it'd be an honor. Crazy. Jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the eighties. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Oh, come on, you can't just tease me like that. You can't just say I should not run into this group, but we're 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 really not going to. I'm going ahead and assuming that we're going to run into them. I don't give a caravan? Hell no. Do I want to talk to these people? Ooh, this, I want to talk to this guy. It looks like... Yeah, he's a vault dweller, man. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Nice comb over. Uh... Yeah, let's start off by insulting him. Which I already did by calling out his comb over. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see, and done things. Lots of them. I hope this guy dies by the end of this. I'm a fucking storm of death. I've been talking to you for thirty seconds and I already hate you. You talk in the third person. Of course. In fact, yeah, in fact. That's my nickname. Dead Pretty sure he just made that up on the spot. <laughs> hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. So you did say something. I need grammar, man. I travel light on purpose, okay? But if the price is right, I'll tell Jed I'm carrying less, so you can carry more. What's your offer? Give you 100 caps, make sure Jed lit. I don't know if I want extra gear though. <laughs> I mean, 100 caps is nothing, but you it'll be deal. way down. Lucky, trust me. So, how'd you get that nickname? Is uh, your you eye dead? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. I think you're blind in one eye. I think that's the real reason. Once, I got jumped by. Three death jaws. Except called death four. claws. Imagine that. But I, I didn't think I've been jumped by because, more. Because I never panic. What I did was become a storm. And this guy is just like a compulsive liar. Pop in the eye. I think he has a like legitimate uh, problem. No, no, you heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, <laughs> but bigger teeth. Or He's like a child. Making up just like ridiculous stories to impress. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, 
I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it Doesn't over. sound like the Brotherhood of Steel. They typically but don't really just, like, I never am. swear. Before they seem classier came, than that. I draw my 11mm machine gun, and bam, bam, right through the ice. 11mm machine gun. DOA. That exists. <laughs> so it is, or was it 9mm? Or a 10? I don't know. Don't care. Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. You either kill shit or you blow shit up. But I don't think you can kill shit up. Yes, this is the thing that made me interested in you, which I quickly realized was dumb. So what? Pit boy. He called it a he called it a pit boy. You do not deserve that thing, sir. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, yeah, you didn't have to. Hypno-theoretically here. Got any suggestions? <laughs> this made-up lingo is the best. That's the only redeeming factor with this guy. Like, he's just, like, the biggest asshole. But the phrases and words he makes up make me laugh. So, good job. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die. Great attitude. Oh, well. I don't... I... I didn't mean to... I didn't know what I was saying, guys. I'm sorry that we're now down a pair of hands. Though, to be fair, to be fair, guys, he was a huge asshole, and I think you would all agree with... Okay, you're tired of me. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Can I get rid of all of them? Because I want to do that if I can. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard. That sounds fun. Of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. And then I wound up. Uh, who cares about New Reno? We're in New Vegas. In Caliente, little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. All right. I said I didn't care about New Reno, but I guess yeah, I'll ask. In Vegas, if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace, then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. The five and families of Scranton. Wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factors off the charts. Or I guess -stop whoring not really of Scranton, but of the, the street building the that they worked at. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Very. Place Tell me about Caliente. Name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. What's the difference? I Man, it's so easy to space out during these into town and dragged off two conversations. Girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with every the time they say 80s, I just I just think of the decade. So I hope I hope they're dressed like people from that. Although it wouldn't really make sense because like the 80s didn't exist, so at least not so much land. in the yeah, way that we know we, them. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Yes, they figured we weren't so Every time the, the decade wants to kill us. I don't even know. I, I don't even remember the the white legs being brought up, but I'll ask to be about them. They raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the desert rangers fell apart 10 years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the white legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Catch you yeah, another time. See you later. 
Nice, I couldn't chase you off. Oh, and they're just hey, guards, so they don't matter. Alright, let's go, Daphnoi. Now that Ricky's skedaddled yours is the only pit boy we got. Kinda made him skedaddle, but let's ignore that and go. Are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack rock. Oh fuck you. We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. I guess that's what that crate is for. Then like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Alright. Pick up my lad. Am I allowed to put stuff in here? Oh, it's less than a hundred pack. Fuck this. Alright. That's what I'm wearing. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want to get rid of. Let's get rid of miscellaneous stuff if we can. First. But none of that has weight. So that's pointless. That's so useful though. Alright, let's just start getting rid of weapons. Let's get rid of the real crappy stuff first. Let's let's get rid of you. Ways too, but probably never gonna use the rocket launcher. It weighs a crap ton, so let's get rid of that. I have to get rid of 153 pounds. Let's get rid of duplicates too. Like that's that's what we'll start off. Let's get rid of duplicates, and then move on to other stuff. I'm never going to use grenades or anything, so let's get rid of those. Okay. Let's see. The gun I'm using uses 357. So let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of everything that uses 357. That's. 24, 120. What does my thing do? Okay, yeah. So let's get rid of this dog gun. Yeah, I don't need a police pistol. This is very entertaining, I'm sure. Let's get rid of the 44 Magnum instead of the trail carbine. Oh my gosh, so much stuff I need to get rid of. Uh, screw it. Let's just. Yeah, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. I don't know if there'll be any robots or not, so I'll keep that. Definitely don't need that. Oops, I didn't mean to get rid of that. But there we go. Are you here to jar? Wait a minute, I recognize you. What? Yeah. Ah, You're out of the mic. Star, ain't you? you sure you want to be here? The Glafferty's non competes are pretty rigid. Oh, right, because I'm a person, career, or whatever. You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masters. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? I am absolutely well, sure. Right Assuming that everything in that crate stays in that crate. Which is why I want to create a new save. So that I don't get fucked. Oh, slideshow time. Honest hearts. 
How old is this DLC at this point? Following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR like, started to hear like about a in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks sent out missionaries to talk to the tribe. So are they like, are they Mormons then? I mean, it, I mean, it's Utah. The New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Uh, Raiders wouldn't tangle leap. with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Mal Pace Legate, was a New Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The New Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame him. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legged finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. So they had burned them. Covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, like a some boss. Of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. That would just be ridiculous. And honestly, at this point, I'm kind of hoping that that's not the case, because that sounds a little too ridiculous. <gasps> Trophy! We're going to remember Zion. Man, I love that noise. Mostly for what it represents. Right, I like trophies weeks, quite a bit. But here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail so <laughs> we just like made it to Zion without having to do like any work. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the fifteenth too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip Boy over there. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, Who cares if you can't I love Zion. So I've been trying to talk about this the entire time, but I really had an opportunity. Fallout 4 looks pretty freaking awesome. Oh, who are those people? But yeah, Fallout 4 looks pretty oh. Oh, no, they're good. Ain't nothing wrong with these people. Yeah, I can't wait for Fallout 4. It's gonna be pretty amazing. At least based on what we've seen so far. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, oh no, don't, don't you do this to me, Fallout. That's... Okay, so not yet. Yeah, that's my that's my main desire from Fallout 4. No fucking freezing, crashing, lagging, any of that. That's all I want. That's all I want. It's not too much to ask for, right? Hello, White Legs Pain Maker. Say goodbye to your head. What are you shooting at? Oh. Oh. 
Get him, Stella. Ah! Ah! Die. Uh, you know what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Accidental quickscope. I forgot that that was kind of a thing that you can totally do. What do you have? I will take all of your stuff because I've got no reason not to at this point. Eh, just for the collection. Stella! 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 I don't know how many times he yelled it in the movie. Never actually seen that movie. Can't even remember what the movie is. I just know it's a dude in a wife beater yelling Stella. I believe he was also a wife beater. I think that was part of the thing. Yeah, I just totally eluded Stella. I need to stop. Oh, you're dead too? What? Everybody died! Fuck is this shit? I thought I'd have somebody to stick around. And again, this is Fallout. Can't exactly count on people. Ooh, don't really want that actually. I do want those. Don't really want those. But yeah, Fallout 4 looks awesome. You can build stuff. That's cool. Useless stuff isn't useless anymore. That's really cool. Definitely glad about that. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So when would be a good stopping point? Because we're uh, a little half hour right now. I want to see what's up up here. See, watch this. If you just like, boom. Oops. All right. All right. Let's just do it the legit way, though. Cause it will work very well. I love this gun. This gun's pretty freaking awesome. You're uh, aiming in the wrong direction, guy. So you paid the price for that. And there goes his body. And all the goodies he had on him. I think I already have one of those somewhere. Or if I... Yeah, I'll take it though. I could use it in this particular section of the game. Is this another one? That was a brush gun. Sure, I'll take it. Oh! Nice. This fucking spinal cord stayed up here, and so I get to loot everything that fell off the cliff. Because that's how the real world works. I don't see his body. Oh, 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 okay. Don't, don't, uh, let's not be stupid now. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, okay. So I thought they'd appear on the radar before they started shooting at me. Not really the case. Oh. Where'd he go? Hoy! White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. Wait, so you shot at me, now you want to talk to me? Outside, What's wrong with you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Yeah, Joshua, Joshua Graham. Graham. I did air quotes, by the way. Dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone. Uh, I don't know about that. Ways. They're dead. That means just you now. Come, 
I can take you to him. Good. All right, sure. Oops, I accidentally skipped it. It's gonna be the well stacked cairns perk. Wow. Follows chalk is in your party, reaching any summit. We'll reveal all. Ooh. Ooh. It's like Assassin's Creed style, but in Fallout. So yeah, he was totally just like shooting at me. And now he's in my now he's my companion. Go fuck yourself. F follows chalk. I think I'm gonna stop now, but I just wanna. So I really quickly uh. So I'm gonna save it anyway. Um, just hold on, hold on a second. It's taken a while because you know. This file, file size, file size gets pretty big. We got 12 megabytes, but uh, that's for shooting me. You took a lot of shots to the head, and you're not even dead. No, hey, hey, okay. no. Go fuck yourself. Oh, I want to see what happened to him. I get that eerie feeling that he's just gonna like appear behind me or something. see his body or him for that matter his living body oh you know what I should do I'm spending way too much time doing this, but I gotta know, you know, his body is nowhere to be seen. I don't know how deep that water is. See, there's that body. Again, I just, I just keep feeling like he's just gonna be there in one of these times, just like standing next to me. Holy shit! Okay, so you can totally go down there. Oops, probably not from this height. It's a totally playable area because there's a dead Brahmin with like a crate next to it. Well, anyway, that's probably a good enough time as any to uh, call it quits for now. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.